Oh, yes. Now, after Carl Fort, Ricky Burns, Ryan Rhodes, David Hay and Matt Macklin, Amir Khan will defend his WBA like 108 world title against Zab Judo. Used to be a nasty piece of work, but now is not, apparently. And that was going to be in Las Vegas on July 23rd. The fight will be screened on primetime pay-per-view. That's plug number one. It's a big fight because Judah has the IBF like 108 title and a big mouth. Oh, yes. And we do love a big mouth. That's sales fights. That's the ideal combination. Calm, by the way, and you can dispute this, but it's a fact. He's global, my son. He really is. The kid from Bolton, the teenager with the doleful eyes who had a kebab named after him, is now a superstar. Whew. Anyway, I called up with him a bit earlier and started by asking him had he known it would be Zab the Gob for a long, long time. Yeah, I've known for a while. You know, at first we wanted to fight Bradley, but in my eyes, Bradley chickened out. He didn't want to fight. And um, we turned the page over and then... We took on Zab Judah. I mean, Zab Judah, I think, is more of a dangerous opponent. Yeah. You know, he can punch with both hands. He's a good mover. I mean, you know, I mean, he's getting on a little bit, but I think for the first probably half of the fight, he's very, very dangerous. And then his experience, he's very experienced. He's been in with the likes of Mayweather, Miguel Cotto. And not even that, you know, he's five-time world champion, so... It's going to be a good test, and um, it's, a, it's a good name to have on your record. Yeah, I agree with what you say there. I mean, in some ways, Bradley was being painted into some kind of monster when, in all fairness, it's 50-50 between him and Zab, who's the most dangerous, and yet Bradley was the one that was being presented as Superman. Exactly, yeah. That's what um, you know, people made it as uh, Bradley was the most, most dangerous fighter. And you know, don't get me wrong, he is dangerous, but um, I don't think he's as dangerous as Zab Judah. I mean, Zab yeah. Judah is a good mover. He's so far very really awkward as well. But I think uh, we'll know exactly how to deal with him, hopefully. Did uh, it, in the end with Bradley, um, was it just that he just kept out, you know, pricing himself out of the fight, Amir? Was that, the, was that oh, it, simple in the end, just money? It wasn't even the money, man. It wasn't even the money. But I offered him a great deal. I even offered him 50% of the UK revenue, uh, 50% of what, what HBO were paying. And, um, I mean, it was a full-on 50-50 fight. And he refused that. Uh, he just did not want the fight. Even if I offered him 100% of the UK revenue, <laughs> he still would not have taken that fight. Yeah, that, that, so, um, it, it I think he was just scared of losing the two world titles he has and um, you know, losing the all in his record because he's undefeated and just didn't want to get beat. But he's not going to get that type of money. He's not going to get you know one and a half million and plus all sorts of spreads like that for fighting anyone I, else, is he? Yeah, he's not going to make that money again. And to be honest with you, I bet I get more people in my way than he gets in his fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that's a fair comment. And that's, you know, he's not really a big ticket seller. The only reason, you know, maybe there's a lot of who are about him is because of the two world titles he holds. Sure. And, you know, he, which, which, you know, and, uh, which he deserves and, uh, and everything. But to be honest with you, uh, that deal will not, not be there again. And I even said that to him, his promoter. Mm. If they don't take that deal, uh, it's not going to be there again. And, you know, that's just part of the deal now, yeah. Now, no, it's... Um we should never look past fights, and, and certainly not with someone like Zeb Judah, but, but somewhere in the back of your mind, you must be looking at really big fights in October and November. I know, I know you shouldn't, but it's still yeah, there. Names are being thrown around. Too much, but I think looking, um, looking, just, just looking ahead a little bit, because um, just, it just motivates you. I mean, having ambitions in life, you need them just to push you and drive you. And um, I think hopefully get Zeb Judah out of the way and look good against him. And maybe get one more fight end of the year. That's what I want. Uh, and hopefully then move up to 147. Yeah, up to well to uh, wait. That's my, that's my idea. And, you know, I'd like to fight the winner of maybe Ortiz or Mayweather maybe next year. Uh, in, uh, maybe next year just before summer yeah. or something. So, you know, maybe that could be a fight, good fight for me. Uh, and if we have that fight in the UK, because um, I think in, in the UK we've not had a big, big fight like that for a long, long time. And to even get Mayweather down there. I think it'll be massive. Well, I mean, we, we both know that um, Mayweather's probably got more fans on the ground in the UK than he'd have in America, yeah. to be honest with you. For sure, yeah. I mean, everywhere you go in America, I remember jumping in the taxis and, you know, we got talking about boxing and we spoke, we spoke about Mayweather and they, they hate Mayweather, <laughs> even in LA and everywhere you go. Or in England, I mean, Mayweather's a they love big him. name. People like him, they love him over here and in England, sorry, and... I mean, he, he deserves it. He's a great fighter. Yeah. He's been in with some great champions, and he's beat great champions, and he's a, he's a very skillful fighter, so he deserves that. But um, I think it'd be massive to get him down to America, in England sorry, yeah. and uh, get the fight there, because I think there's no one else at, at our weight who could uh, get him over there and 
someone who would want to fight. And I think at one time he did hint that he wanted to fight uh, in England. He did, yeah. And, um, you know, maybe this could be the fight for him. Uh, and can, can I ask you this? I mean, have you ever met uh, Floyd? I mean, I, you know, not just like for one second. Have you ever spent any time with him anywhere on any show or anything? You know, I was with, uh, when I was looking for some trainers, um, I went to see F- Freddie and then it was Floyd Senior and oh, of course, went yeah. with Roger, Roger Mayweather as well. And Floyd normally sleeps in the daytime and he got up early that day just to come in the gym and see me train and he was in the wing with me helping me out. And ah. we spent about an hour in that gym and he was with us for uh, longer. He took some pictures with us and wow. it was really good to have him there. And then it's funny you asked because I met him last week. In um, in Beverly Mall, I was taking a walk in the mall, and he walk right, he's walking right to me, and we I said, "Hey, for Floyd," and you know we had, we had a little conversation, <laughs> and um, yeah, everything was cool. I mean, that's the thing about boxers. I mean, boxers are probably the most down to earth people. I mean, sometimes we might have to um, talk a lot just to promote the fight, to sell it, or, yeah, yeah, to sell it. But to be honest with you, if you don't know, uh, I mean, if you know the fighter personally. We are probably the nicest people you'll meet. But there has been quite a bit of banter with Zab Judah over the last uh, few weeks on different social networks. Yeah, on, on Twitter and stuff, <laughs> there's been a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, a little bit of argument with Zab. He's gonna try, he said to me, he's going to knock me out, and I was like, you know, we'll see what happens. And, you know, I don't think he'll knock me out. Uh, yeah, and, and then he offered, then he said to me, I'll bet you $100,000 that I will beat you. Yeah. I mean, look, I want Paul Zab to get paid. You get me? <laughs> he I'm needs the money. Take his money off him, <laughs> even from his purse. Now, um, and I think that's a way for him to give himself confidence and to drive himself. You get me? Yeah, of course I, I do. That's yeah. The way Zab is, I think yeah. he just wants to um, to to push him and drive him. But you know, and the day will they'll just going to be me and Zab. I even said it to him on. Uh, on Twitter that on, on the 23rd of July yep. there'll be me and you in the ring and I'll, I'll let my fist do all the talking there's no point in me you know getting into an argument with you and getting all heated up and stuff because I know I'm more for, for professional than that yeah, and I'll do it on the night now this is this show's going to be this fight's going to be on prime time again not on Sky happy yeah. to be working back with prime time I mean it's great to be back with prime time and uh, now it's going to be a lot easier for the for the for we, are, we had about 70,000 buys last time and It'll about three days notice people. Yeah. Three days notice. Yeah. We'll have more time to promote the fight this time, and also the the um, the people who are who the last seventy thousand that were already who have already registered sure. will or only have to press the red button and they, they're back on. Yeah. Whereas all the the other people who ever want to join, they just have to call in. And I think there'll be more staff there, and hopefully the lines won't crash this time. But yeah, I'm looking at you know I think we can really hit around the hundred fifty thousand mark. That'd be fantastic. Because I think Zab Judah is a big name, and people know who Zab Judah is. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a big name in the UK, and yeah. he's fought some big names like Mayweather. And yeah, he's a big, um, he's a big established fighter. Definitely. Yeah, he's been in with a lot of people. I mean, let me ask you this, just finally, and thanks for your time uh, this afternoon. How's the, how's the, uh, how are the sessions working with Freddie? The training, uh, as usual, incredibly hard. The sparring, even harder. Yeah, I mean, we've been sparring. I'm on my third sparring session, and um, it's going really well. I mean, I'm happy with sparring the way Fred is bringing new guys in. Uh, we've got at the moment we've got three sparring partners that we've got here who flew in from one flew in from New York and um, all different areas of America sure. well it's, it's been really good I mean training's going really well I feel so sharp and strong uh, I've been training back with Alex Ariza training very hard with him yeah you're back with um, him now happy with that yeah really happy with Alex good. Ariza and where things have gone I mean, I mean we put everything behind us and you know we, we, we're more professional now you've got to be professional you know you can fall out with people then you can fall back with them it's as simple as that we're professional it's as simple as, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. As simple as that. it's one of them things it's, Absolutely. It's, oh, that's boxing for you but I can see myself being the best shape ever good. and I'm going to put on a great show on again in, um, in Vegas that was Amir Khan talking to me a bit earlier on then uh, he's going to be fighting on prime time you can find it via Google it's going to be on July 23rd. And also, if you're thinking about maybe going out to it, he's putting together a package, and you can find that on Amir Khan 2, as in the number 2, Amir Khan to Vegas.com. Oh, that's enough plugs. Now,